here's a very fun little simple game you can make for your toddler teaching the numbers. Now we're working through our numbers 11 through 20, the teens. So what I did is I made some little circles from foam paper because they don't wrinkle, they don't rip, and your child can handle them as much as they like. And I've written the numbers with permanent marker, of course. And what we do is we go through our counting together to begin with. 11, 12, we talk about let's make a row of apples. Pretend this is our apple shop. She loves playing shop, so I add in there that in there sometimes when we're reading. So first of all, we put them in order. Now I help her because she doesn't really know them yet. 13, 14, she can count them. 15, but she can't, she's learning to read them. 16, 17, 18, and 19, and 20. So once they're all lined up real nicely, we go counting them again a couple times. Once I point, the next time she points. She has a lot of fun doing that. And then we have here some little foam pieces shaped into leaves. So what we need to do is add the leaves to the apples. So I ask her to pick one. She doesn't read it yet. I read it to her 15 and she has to match it to the apple that says 15 and she gets to put it on top like that or like that. She has her own fancy little way of doing it. Once they're all ready like that with their little leaf and their matching number, they get to... somebody gets to buy them. They're all ready. So I give her the number 16. She hears the number 6 there so she looks out for the 6. I tell her, 16, there's the teen, and he has a six friend. 17, anyway, so she goes on and on until she's finished building them all. And after that, we play shop, and I ask her, all those that have leaves, I ask her, oh, can I buy apple number 15, please? And so she looks for 15, and she gives me the apple and the leaf. So there we go, practicing our numbers, like three, four times. First we read them out, we lay them out straight, then we put the leaves on, and then we go shopping. So that's a good little number practice game. And you can use anything you have. You can use paper or already made circles. You can even use little cups. Anyway, hope you enjoy this little idea for your child.